Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's lesson, we're going to be discussing old wives' tales about the weather. <sighs> welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing old wives tales now for the longest time in my life i thought this was called old wise tales so it was a bit of surprise when i started to research this video that it's actually called old wives tales so that just goes to show that even native speakers make mistakes when listening so before we jump in i'd like to ask that you consider subscribing to the channel hit that like button if you find this video useful make sure you share this video with any english learners you know Links to my social media are below if you want to follow me. And with that being said, let's jump right in. So what is an old wives tale? An old wives tale is a superstition or traditional belief that is regarded as unscientific or incorrect. Or is it? Now some of these that I'm going to be going over I think are true and some I think are just complete bull. Let's start off with the first one. And it happens to be my favorite one, too. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. When we see red sky at night, this indicates a high pressure and stable air coming from the west. A high pressure system suppresses the formation of clouds. So this means the next day won't have many clouds and therefore it will be a nice day full of sunshine. Now, I think this one is true because I feel it's been correct more often than not. Most times when I see red sky at night, I remember the next day being a very nice day. So when you see this red sky at night over the horizon, it lights up all the clouds. It's red, it's orange, color in the sky. There's a good chance that it's going to be nice tomorrow. Or so they say. Next one is red sky morning, sailors take warning. So this one is the reverse of the first one. So instead of seeing red sky at night, you see a red sky in the morning. A reddish sky around sunrise means a lot of water vapor is already present in the atmosphere. As clouds come from the west, rainy weather is thus expected. I'm not sure about this one because I don't rise with the sun. I'm a night owl, not an early bird. So a night owl is someone who stays up late and an early bird is someone who wakes up early. So when you see the sun rising in the morning and you see the clouds starting to turn red, you know that there's gonna be a storm coming. It might not be a big storm, it could just be a little bit of rain, but it's not gonna be a very pleasant day. So the next one, sun dog brings rain or snow. Now, I had never heard about a sun dog before in my life until I moved to Saskatchewan. We don't have them where I live here in New Brunswick. So a sun dog appears when sunlight hits clouds of ice crystals and the ice acts as a prism. Not a prison, prism. When a sun dog is seen in the morning, it often indicates an approaching weather front. But when a sun dog appears at sunset, old timers would often say, tonight will be clear as a bell and cold as hell. Now I can see this one being true, but we don't get sun dogs where I live, so I don't know. So this is what a sun dog looks like, and it's actually very beautiful when you see it in person. Maybe it has something to do with the, the flat horizon that they have in the prairies, because the prairies are Saskatchewan. You can, you can see very far in the prairies. Okay, the next one is Groundhog Day. Now, a lot of you might have already heard about this one. This one's pretty popular. Uh, there was a movie done on it with Bill Murray. It was, it was friggin' hilarious. Uh, but although that it's pretty old, so it's from the probably 1980s, maybe. I'll have to check on that, but late 1980s probably so when I was a child so on February 2nd 
when the groundhog is said to come out of its hole at the end of hibernation. If the animal sees its shadow, it gets scared and runs back into its burrow. This is meant to predict six more weeks of winter. If the groundhog doesn't see his shadow, it means that there will be an early spring. Nah, this one seems like a load of crap. No way this one is right. So I don't think a rodent can predict the weather. Although you never know, we're talking about Groundhog Day. Spring is finally here. I survived winter. <laughs> the groundhog is just reaching for help. <laughs> it was so hard, the winter. Uh, that's funny. So this one my grandmother and my brother used to tell me, and they swear by this one. I have never fact-checked this one. I've never looked at the leaves to see if this is true or not. Uh, but leaves turn upside down, so they, they curl they curl upwards. This means that heavy rain is approaching. The leaves are actually reacting to the sudden increase in humidity that usually precedes a storm, or so some scientists have said. Others have said it's simply because of a significant switch in the wind direction right before a storm. I mean, so either way, everyone seems to agree that it means a storm's coming. Why they curl upwards isn't really important at this point. So this one looks like it's true. It looks like it has been scientifically fact-checked by someone other than me, someone qualified. So we're gonna say that this one is probably correct. So it's a bit hard finding a picture of leaves that are curled upwards, but I guess this is sort of what it looks like. And this one, now I was born in the month of March, so I hear this one all the time. In like a lion, out like a lamb, or in like a lamb, out like a lion. A prediction for March weather means that when the month starts with bad weather conditions, it will end with fair weather conditions for the start of spring. The weather comes in like a lion, meaning, meaning the weather is fierce. It'll go out like a lamb, meaning the weather will be docile. The same could be said in reverse. If it starts out like a lamb, it's supposed to go out like a lion. So I heard this one all my life and I've never found it to be true. Where I live, just when you think winter is done, and BAM! Another stupid blizzard, usually followed by a few nice days, and then BAM! Another blizzard. So whenever I start feeling like winter is done, I usually expect at least three or four more storms before it's actually done. Just when you think winter is done where I live, it just keeps dumping on you. And it gives you these nice, beautiful days and you think, oh man, spring's here. But nope, bam, more snow. March came in like a lamb, but that means the lion is waiting just around the corner. <laughs> That's pretty cute. So guys, I hope this helped you. If uh, if a native speaker starts talking about these old wives tales, you'll know exactly what they mean and what they're talking about. Uh, it might be rare, but when they do see that you know about these, they'll be very impressed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos, you can check out these two videos here. And I'll catch you over in the next video. Peace.